one you see sometimes race car drivers take it but <laughs> you can see that the car doesn't like that and then here we have also another one that we could take right Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring, welcome back to Polestar 2. It's my second lap with the car because I enjoyed the first lap so much I decided to do a second lap anyway. But uh, since to make things a bit different to the year... Hello, Hello. cheers. Hello. Uh, since to make things slightly different, I decided to make a video that I wanted to make quite a while ago which is to talk about curbstones, because curbstones belong to every racetrack and on majority of racetracks you should be taking most of the curbstones. However, on the Nürburgring, the majority of them you need to avoid. And some of them you could take them, and some of them, just because you could take them, doesn't mean you should take them. So this is going to be sort of a curbstone guideline with addition of some, I would say, trivia or maybe how-tos or some yeah, some uh, tips and tricks I would say when it comes to driving the track and orientating, orientating on the curbstones. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, going through the compression with 200. Such a well-balanced car. Anyway, the first curbstone is here in the Hohenrein chicane that you could take is this right one. So it's kind of okay. It um, allows you slightly better entrance into the corner, but it's not much. So here we have the rumble strip can use to exit the corner passing BMW now the next one at the T13 you could take but you don't see majority of people taking them so I just do it for the video sake better to avoid it so don't do that not really necessary now approaching Hatzenbach the first hard braking zone here's a rumble strip that you can take if you're running out of the track better to avoid on the brakes hard let go and brake again and this one you see sometimes race car drivers take it but <laughs> you can see that the car doesn't like that and then here we have also another one that you can take and another one to <laughs> this is really not a track car this is why i wanted to use this <laughs> this camera facing me to show it to you okay okay we good polestar we good polestar off we go again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Pulsar, you need to come up with a track function because if you're going to be selling like performance packs and stuff, you need to really chill because <laughs> it kind of hurts. <laughs> right, we can have lots of fun. What I wanted to say at Flugplatz is that you can use the orange barrier on the left to use it as a steering point towards the right curbstone. Now, for now, no curb stones left, so all easy, smoothly, and nicely going into Schwedenkreuz and then full on on the brakes. I really love those brakes. Like 2.2 ton car, I think, but the brakes, phenomenal. This is one of the curbs that you can use if you're like coming in too hot on the left, but stay off it. Now, the curb exit foxhole is something that you should use if you're especially coming in hot. The five kilometer, no, six kilometer sign on the right is a nice turning point. Sorry, the motorcycle sign. It's a motorcycle sign turn and going over the curb. Up, and you have a nice exit or entrance in towards Adenau Forest. Going towards the left curb, stay off it. Right curb, mm, I would say stay off it. Left curb, again, you could take it uh, if you're running out of the track. What we're gonna do now is to go towards C drive, EC sport mode. Now, Metzgesfeld is a nice one that you can use as a reference. You go towards the left curb, end of the right curb, hard on the brakes, beginning of the left curb, turning in. So hard braking, the seat belt really enjoys it. Turning in and go. <sighs> the seat belt's only letting go when you go on the brakes and it's only getting tighter because we're getting downhill here. This one you can also use <sighs> only if I'm getting off the throttle maybe. Oh man. So far, <laughs> the safety briefing video. <laughs> I mean, it also can be used as sort of, I would say harness because you're really strapped in tight. Oh man. 
unless you're gonna just like not have any blood in your brain by here anyway so what I did last lap and what I'm gonna be doing now here as well in Brideshed where we have the speed limit anyway need to take it easy oh okay let's do that thing here you go and we have EC in sport mode so usually I would say like hey why don't you activate it now right curbstone don't use it um, End of the left curb, nice turning point to the right curbstone. Off we go, flat on the gas again, and go, go, go. <sighs> My driver excuse, <laughs> because I really love the M1, uh, 1M, sorry, in front of us. I was really hoping to like follow it for a bit, but the seatbelt made it impossible. This is such a nice driving excuse, like, you know, the seatbelt made it for me impossible to, uh, to be fast. Right. Uh, from here, no real curbs for now, just uh, staying on the left side. Tam, 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 count the curbs, that's important. One, two, number three goes straight to the right, and then the, this one left. 187 through the corner, in five degrees on winter tires. I have a lot of confidence in that car. That says a lot. Right, on to the right curbstone, mood curve, end of the curve, turning in into the mood curve, on the gas again, using all of the track because he paid for it. Oh, braked a bit too much, but other than that, still no fancy curves that we should be using. Now, here on the left, the beginning of the curve can be used as a safe reference point to go on the brakes and then turn in and then on the gas to the outside and also here the left you can go slightly on it but not too much okay it's taking a while as you can see there are not many curbs at all and there were also not many like any pseudo curbs I would say that we could take right Polestar that clearly does not like the carousel we have here construction works anyway that we need to slow down for. <sighs> uh, I remember two years ago when I had a lap with uh, Kevin Estre. Um, the following day I had like bruises from the from the seat belts in the GT3 RS. Same might happen here. <laughs> Right, okay, we're approaching a very important curb, which is Vipperman. Consists out of two curb zones, left one and right one. Now, the left one, always try to avoid it. Uh, it doesn't bring much, so you can slightly use it, but the right one, if you take it, take it full on, like over-exaggerated, because if you take it too early, if you get off it too early, then uh, it will unsettle the car quite a lot. That's the thing that I have to say. Now, when it comes to here into Brunchen, we have here a nice rumble strip on the right that you can take also as well. So, you can use it full. Ta -da. And here on to the Brunchen 2, you have a rumble strip and a curb, so you can take the rumble strip, but stay off the curb unless you're going like really fast. Ice curb, do... We usually avoid it, but you can take it. But watch out with coming off because you have lots of differences like elevation changes, etc. So there is that. All right, my seatbelt is going to get tight. Oh, last lap, it was a bit like that. All right, beep beep. Don't take that curb, but I did it and I beeped because Nibbukring Life Picks, a photographer, was standing there and he said, Hey, can you get some air? <laughs> and Flats Garden too. But because you're in a silent car, can you go? <laughs> can you give me some beep beep? Beep beep. Can you sound the horn, Misha? Come on. Right, here we have one more into exit Schwabenschwanz or entrance or that you could take, but nah, not really necessary. Going into the mini carousel out and and we lost all the power ah we're all like already below 20% battery almost 20% battery 
Uh, right, but we are at the end of the lap anyway, so that's it. The curb zone guide and a, not a public service announcement message, but a dear appeal to Polestar Worldwide. Chill out with your seatbelts. I know, like, in case of an impact, it's important to do it, but, like, it was painful. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, like, for the track, and it is not a track car, it is definitely, like, a road car with, uh, with lots of uh, sporty characteristics, uh, but people like me, some other people might want to take it out on track, and since you already have the ESC Sport Mode, it would be good that you could bypass the seatbelt thing. And it's a typical Volvo thing because I remember every single Volvo I lapped, it was the same story. Which is fun for the first lap because I don't expect it, but after that it's just getting like, okay, I want to live, kind of. Well, I hope we have some nice pictures. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, and we skipped a couple of first curb stones because I was fighting with the seatbelt. But as you can see, they're pretty much, uh, you don't need to take any of them, I would say only a couple of them really bene benefit you. And um, when we are driving on a track, either taxi or just for our own cars and just fun, we're actually avoiding all the curbs to preserve the car. But that's when we're talking about laps daily, daily, daily. Um, and also in 24 hour races, some teams slash race car drivers, uh, they avoid some curb stones or all curb stones to preserve the car for the, the whole endurance race or they like for example in carousel they stay longer on the inside because otherwise their seatbelt gonna snap them no uh, because if they jump out of it it puts again a bit more stress when coming out of the carousel on the components so it's proven um, you don't need to take curbs but if you do want to take them there are only few that actually make sense but the majority doesn't make sense and I'm start talking nonsense so in this case Hope you enjoyed this video. It was lots of fun laps. Um, yeah, looking forward to put this on uh, summer tires and then do some more laps. But it's a, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot, especially like it's a very well, nicely composed car, as mentioned previously. So on that note, thanks for watching.